So in our last episode, we found out that our show function in our org products controller has not been coded up yet, so the view that we made was pretty much useless. So for today, let's go over our show function. Now the first thing that I want to do in our show function is define product info as org product dot find by ID because the ID is passed in by the parameters. We'll do params ID. Now we can also do a category and we're going to assign the category type category dot find by ID and we're going to use our product info that, that we defined to get the name of the category and we're going to do much the same thing for subcategory so we just put that under category next thing we got to do is we've got to find the contact info and that is going to be org contact dot find by company ID and it's going to be product info dot org company dot ID the difference here is because we're using org company ID to find the contact info in org contacts that is defined by org company ID so that's why we're using find by company ID or that's actually wrong, they'll give us an error, find by org company ID. Next thing we want to do is we want to get our currency. So we're just going to do money new, contact info, type country, dot currency code, dot currency. And we're also going to assign that to our sessions so that we can save it in our session and make it easy to use. Now we're going to do an if statement, and it's not going to be if currency, but if current or org person. And then we're also going to have an else and going to end that with an end. Now, under here, we're going to do at cart. That's our variable. Now, our cart is going to be a model. And we already defined that model earlier on in one of our previous videos. And we're going to do cart where the org person ID equals the current per org person's ID and the org product ID is equal to product info dot ID. So this is to find what's in the cart. So we're gonna use this where statement in order to find out whether this user has saved a quantity for this item in the cart, which is in our database. So if their cart is empty end, then we're gonna do a cart or signs, double or signs, equals session cart product info dot id dot two s. So what this does is it checks whether we saved a session variable for this item because if they don't have the item in the database or we can't find anything in the database, then we want to check whether he or she saved the item in their sessions. And we're going to check if this card is empty. So we're going to check if, if there's a session variable for this item. So let's just put a comment there. So if there was a session, variable for this item, then we want to attach it to the user's cart. And we need to do an end statement here, an end here. And so if the session variable was set, which was assigned to the cart, and if the cart is not empty, that means the session variable was set, then we want to just throw that in the cart. We want to create the, the respective row in our database to capture that to capture that that session that session item in our cart. So we do cart create org person ID and org person ID will take current org person dot ID. We're gonna do org product ID and this will correspond to the ID the the ID of the product which is found in cart ID. The name is going to be found in cart 
title. The price is going to be found in cart grocer, or not a cart grocer, that's the grocer. Cart price, 2F to make it a float. Grocer is going to be cart grocer, of course. And we're going to have quantity, weight in grams, and expiry date. So after we've done that, what I want to do is I want to clean out the cart. So what I do is I go to session, cart to access the cart. And we're going to go find this product in the cart. So product info.id 2s. And that will be equal to nil. And this will clean out the session cart. And then we're going to, in our else statement, what we're going to do is if the person is not signed in, then we'll simply do cart, double or signs, session cart. Because they won't have anything saved in their database. So we can only check whether they save this quantity in their sessions. So if the cart is nil, this will make sure that the cart is a hash no matter what. So if the cart is nil, then we'll just do a cart hash new. So this template that we have needs a hash or else it will throw an error. So that's why we're doing the add cart equals hash new. So that's all we want to do here. So let's just hop back into our Orange Products page and refresh. And there you go. Now that now you see that everything is working properly. We have our our vote buttons, and we also have our quantity and uh, the the fields to enter our quantity. And if we had a uh, image, then it will go right above chicken breasts. Other than that, if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, then feel free to leave them in the comment box below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.